Well, good afternoon. If it's Tuesday, 1230 Eastern Time, it's time for Tuesday's Tips with Michael live wherever you're watching this. So we are again broadcasting from our home studio here in my basement. Thank you for watching. And thanks for the feedback we're getting. There's some really good feedback. So uh, if you're watching this live or post-session, give us some feedback. Let us know what you think. So we've ended our personal development that we started earlier this year. We're going to move into leadership development. Topic I really like to teach. I, I coach a lot of leaders. I teach a lot of leadership training. Uh, I really enjoy that part of our business. Not that I don't like working with teams or supervisors, but uh, this day and age, and the, specifically after the year we've been through, uh, leadership is such needed in organizations today. And I know that there are a lot of folks reaching out to give their leaders a few more skills, a few more skills uh, in, the, in these trying times. So what we're going to do over the next few weeks is we have a program called Work of Leaders. It's one of our widely based programs. Um, we get really good feedback on the program. If you haven't read the book yet, the book is really is a really good read. It's a light read. Uh, but we're going to take a look at all the behaviors in the work of leaders process. So really work with leaders on these 18 behaviors. We're going to take a look at them over the next few weeks. And so if you haven't read the book or taken the assessment, the work of leaders is built around a three step process, crafting a vision, right? Coming up with that vision, that future entity. Building alignment, how do you build alignment around that vision, both from an emotional perspective and a tactical perspective with those that you're trying to you know, rally around that vision? And then championing execution, how do you execute that vision? And you really need all three steps to make your vision a reality. And uh, as we go through this process, I'll give you some nuances around some of the things we're seeing. We've been using this for about five years, and it's really, really working great for our clients. But today, we're going to focus on, obviously, the first step, crafting a vision. And in crafting a vision, there are three drivers, exploration, being bold, and testing assumptions. And those are the three things we're going to be looking at over the next few weeks. So under crafting a vision, exploration, there are two behaviors that we're going to leaders on, two specific behaviors under, under exploration. One is remaining open to the possibilities of new ideas. Not to be closed off, not to be negative about what, what potential might happen, but to be open, remaining open about possibilities of new ideas. Kind of putting everything out there on the table, everything out there on the table. And the second one is prioritizing the big picture, not getting into the weeds just yet. A lot of our leaders like getting into the weeds. They say, you know, we tried that before, it didn't happen, or it's not going to fit in the box. And they all start, all this negative stuff starts happening, and they're not prioritizing the big picture, right? They're really getting into the details. We don't want to get there yet. We're going to get there. We're going to get the details along the way. But in this step of the process, this is not the place we're going to get the details. So today we're going to talk about remaining open. How do you remain open? I work with a lot of leaders, and this is kind of a natural thing for them. They like all this brainstorming, all these great ideas, throwing stuff all, you know, kind of spitballing, as you call it, putting it up on the flip chart. Passing around three by five cards, getting as many ideas as possible, and remaining open as possible, trying to get everything out. I tell folks all the time when you go through this process, sometimes the best idea is the last idea. And sometimes the best idea comes from the shyest person in the room who is not real comfortable, you know, screaming, screaming all these ideas out. So make sure, make sure everyone has an opportunity uh, to participate. But I'm going to give you some quick tips on, on some things you can stay uh, to be open to diverse ideas. So set aside specific time, open-ended what-if exploration. So what if it doesn't happen? What if it doesn't fit in the box? Leave all that stuff aside. Uh, give ideas a chance to percolate instead of pushing it ahead with your initial thoughts. So give it some time. Share it. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, create a list of potential problems and concerns, and you're welcome to do that, but don't focus on those right now. Put those aside. You're going to get to those later. Re resist, it, re resist the temptation to run with the first idea you generate because there are a lot of ideas in crafting this vision. There's wordsmithing and all that stuff too, which we'll talk about later. Make a conscious effort to come up with at least five different ways to achieve the same goal. So while crafting a vision, come up with as many ideas to achieve the goal as possible. And give yourself an aggregate time to brainstorm. Don't expect the media payoff. This is gonna take some time. So remaining open, being open to the possibilities, you know, being open-minded about what ifs, um, all that, all that, all that kind of Open air stuff is gonna is definitely gonna help you out. I'm getting a little excited here. So we're gonna we're gonna we'll leave you there today. So remaining open. So next week we're gonna come back and talk about prioritizing the big picture and why that's important. So we're gonna use some tips along the way uh, for each of these behaviors. So we're, right now we're doing crafting a vision. 
If you have questions about the work of leaders or any questions about the book or the program, uh, please shoot me an email. Uh, give me some feedback. But that's our Tuesday tip for today uh, with Michael. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Tuesday when we talk about prioritizing the big picture. Have a great week.